Hey, I'm Adam Jesko from ProudMoney.com. The rumors are true. Alaska Airlines coming on board as a travel transfer partner with Built Rewards, and that is on a one-to-one -one basis. So one built point will get you one Alaska Airlines mile. So obviously good timing for Built having lost American Airlines as a travel transfer partner as of this coming June, they're going to lose them, adding Alaska in the very same week, obviously an easy little replacement. Now, depending on who you like better, you might think this is a uh, good exchange or you might think it is a worse exchange. That is up to you. But Alaska Airlines, as far as I know, their only other transfer partner is Marriott. So you don't have them with any of the other uh, credit card companies or reward programs out there. So kind of a coup for built something that they have been doing over and over again, surprising a lot of people with their uh, new relationships. So one built point equaling one Alaska airline mile, you'll be able to use your Alaska airline miles, obviously for Alaska airlines, but then also Alaska is part of the one world alliance. So you'll be able to use it with the other airlines within that alliance. Now there's a second piece to the announcement, which on the surface sounds really great, but the devil is sort of in the details with this. If you are a holder of the Alaska Airlines Visa Signature Card later this year, and they didn't say exactly when, but if you have that card later this year, you will be able to use it to pay your rent in the built app and earn three Alaska Airline miles per dollar on those rent payments. Now that sounds really great, except for the fact that if you use that Alaska card in the Built app, you're gonna get a 3% transaction fee. So that means for every thousand dollars of rent that you pay using your Alaska Airlines visa, you're gonna get 3,000 miles from Alaska, but you're also gonna pay $30. Now you might look at that and say, well, an Alaska airline mile is worth uh, more than a penny a piece. And so paying $30 for 30 uh, or for 3000 miles is fine, but you're paying up front to get miles that you don't know when you're going to use and for sort of an uncertain value. So if you're going to do that on any regular basis, that seems like kind of a sketchy proposition. Now, for some people, maybe you would say that, you know, you use your Alaska airline miles on a regular basis and maybe you're trying to get status and this would help you get there faster. So it's possible that this could be a good deal for you. But as far as I'm concerned, I'd rather just have the Built Rewards MasterCard, not have a transaction fee on my rent payments, get a thousand uh, points for every thousand dollars spent on rent and then transfer them into the Alaska program instead of doing it the other way. But for some people, you might like that choice. So that is it. Some not so good news earlier in the week with the loss of American, but some good news to end the week with the addition of Alaska. And of course, Built has a lot of other good travel transfer partners. And as I have said before, as far as Built is concerned, until somebody else out there in the credit card game is allowing you to pay your rent with a credit card without transaction fees, Built is going to continue to be a no-brainer for rent payers, even if their reward that sometimes aren't perfect for everyone, well, they're better than getting nothing on those rent payments, which is what you may be getting now. Anyway, questions, comments, would love to hear them in that comment section below. Otherwise, I thank you for watching. And as always, please go to ProudMoney.com where we do credit card reviews. We talk personal finance. We talk deals and all sorts of other fun stuff too. If you are not going to go to the website or you're not going to leave a comment, watch this video next.